Some gunmen cut short the life of this 10 year old girl. Tonight, her neighbors and her mother are sharing more of her story. Police found the car used in the crime. A former homicide chief talks to us about what it will take to find her killer. They could be in your neighborhood tomorrow. In our series, Stop and Frisk, the ACLU files a lawsuit on behalf of the man getting searched against the officer doing the search. After our reporting, YouTube pulls down the channel of a local family accused of child abuse. Let's enjoy the next few days because this weekend's weather is looking pretty unsettled. The News at 11 team is ready. Let's get started. And we'll begin with a lot of new information in this story of this beautiful young girl, 10-year-old Makaya Wilson from Northeast D.C. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. D.C. police now have the vehicle used in that ambush-style shooting that cut her young life short on a warm summer night. We're going to go inside the investigation in just a moment, but first, let's go to the neighborhood. Makaya's family and the neighbors who loved her got together to share their grief and her story. Delia Gonsalves was there. This is how Makaya Wilson will remain, a bright, beautiful 10-year-old full of life and love. Sorry, but nothing, because she, she, she like, she brought everybody together, man. Yeah. And it's her, yeah. it would never be okay. Makaya was killed when these cowards jumped out of a car Monday and shot into a crowd. And I have an 18-year-old that was shot too, that I don't have no information on still to this day. Family members tell me the 18-year-old is in a Virginia jail now on an unrelated charge. Mom said trouble from school was following her home. The family didn't feel safe. They wanted out. I've been to 11th Street since February begging them to get me out of here. And I told them, I told them at the police station, I said, what y'all want, one of my kids dead? There you go. You got it. She was only dead. She was only dead. It is a pain no parent should ever experience, but somehow this family has found strength. God don't take us to it and not take us to it. That's why I'm standing with my head high right now, because mm -hmm. of my daughter and these people. Mm -hmm. A direct message to the ones that, that, that did this, you know what you did. You know it was wrong. Do the right thing. You feel me? And, um... For people in general, man, take care of your kids, love your family. A lot of emotion in that neighborhood tonight. The uncle who was in red told me it hurts a lot. But get this, he says this isn't a brick wall, it's a speed bump. We have to slow down and go over it together. That uncle is Mike D'Angelo. He's a rapper who just got signed to a record deal. He's holding a benefit concert for the family Sunday at Pure Lounge on U Street. We'll have more information on that and on the family's GoFundMe page on our WSA 9 Facebook I tell page. you what, it's not just their hearts that are broken. This has broken the entire community's heart. And, uh, and, and we're going to make sure we stay on this story. That's right. We are. All right, Delia. Let's move to the second part of Makaya's story, the investigation. Deborah Alfaron is here as well. And, Deb, you talked with a former head of the D.C. Police Homicide Unit. Uh, what's he saying about this tonight? He says someone knows something. And that could even be you. There are also three things that can break this case wide open. Number one, again, someone knowing something. Mm -hmm. And Wendell Watkins headed up MPD's homicide squad when this was the murder capital of the world, Leslie. And he has this to say to you. I think people have seen the video. They know who these people are. And they need to come forward now because they could be in your neighborhood tomorrow. Know anything? Text 50411 or call 202 727 9099. We'll share that again. And tell what you know. You can be anonymous, no one needs to know. The second thing that could help solve this case, the car just found today. They need to thoroughly process this particular vehicle. And in addition to processing the vehicle for trace evidence, the other thing I would look at was the videotapes around the city and in that area, maybe uh, within five or ten miles, because they had to use some surface street to get there. And video, that's number three. The technology exists between the FBI and some of the other local law enforcement agencies, including